What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can engrave your text in Photoshop. So guys, this is the final result if you do manage to follow along with the tutorial, as you can see here. Looks really nice, so it works with any wood texture, also metal textures. And then once you've done, you can actually double click on the layer style, go ahead and save it and you can use this anytime you want. So it really doesn't matter what texture you get, but as you can see here, I've got a metal texture or you can just get any wood texture. It really doesn't matter, like I said before, uh, just pause the video if you do need the time to go ahead and find one. But like I said, it should be as simple as you're searching for the texture you want, grabbing a HD image and then putting it into a 1 to 80 by 720 uh, Photoshop document. So once you do have your picture into Photoshop, you wanna go to your text tool, select anywhere on the screen, and you want to type in your text. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I've just typed in carved, as you can see, just to match the actual theme of this. Make sure it is centered. And also you want to make sure that the text itself is actually white. If it's not white, it's not going to work. So make sure your color is selected as white. If it's not, double click on the text like that and then go to the color picker and then select white but it should be already on white as a default and then once you have done that you want to go to the right hand side and you want to select multiply as your blending mode um, as you can see this will actually remove the color but that really doesn't matter because it will actually come back soon so once you have done that you can double click on your text open up the layer styles and now we can start adding the layer styles we need so guys if you can't see all of the effects just go here and make sure you have show all effects selected and you want to select inner shadow as your first style effect so once you are on inner shadow you want to copy down the settings that i'm putting in right now so your blend mode should be on multiply you want to make sure your color is selected as a full black color here using the color picker and then after you've done that you want to go to the opacity and select 85 percent as your chosen number and as you can see this will create a nice shadow dark effect around the inside of the text once you have done that you want to go to the angle and make sure the angle is set to 120 degrees and then next to the angle you have this tick box which you need to have selected as use global light after this you want to copy down these settings for the distance choke and also size so the distance is set to 17 px the choke 15 percent and then at the size as 18 px and those are the best settings in my opinion but you can of course mess around with these it really doesn't matter these are just the um, actual sizes that i found best to work with this effect next is the quality which you really don't need to mess with so you have finished with the inner shadow part now you want to go to bevel and emboss over here on the left hand side and as you can see this will just add the effect already but for you guys it's going to look something different to this so you do want to copy down the effects i'm putting in right now so first of all you want to make sure your style is on outer bevel then your technique is set to chisel hard and the depth is on 100 percent if you do increase it it's going to look kind of weird so make sure you do keep that on 100 percent the direction, I don't really know what this does, so I'd probably just keep this on up, which I believe is the default. The size, it really does depend on the font you are using. Uh, the font that I'm using is Bebus, and I have this on 5px, but you can increase this if you want. It's just going to increase the actual like bevel and emboss effect. So I keep it on 5 just because I don't really want it looking too weird. As for soften, you can just leave that on 0. I wouldn't really mess around with that. And then under shading, you want to copy down these settings. You want minus 45 degrees as the angle and then this time you want to deselect use global light if it is selected just because otherwise we can't use the minus 45 degree angle and then the altitude you can keep at 30 degrees the gloss contour really doesn't matter just keep that on the default which is this straight line and then the highlight mode you want to select as overlay for the blending option right next to that you will get a color so you want to double click on that make sure this is a full white color press ok after that is done and then underneath the highlight mode we have an opacity slider you want to slide that all the way to the right so it is on 100% and then straight underneath that we have a shadow mode you want to make sure this is on multiply and the color is selected as a full black color press ok and make sure the opacity of this as well is set to 100% so guys after you have done those first two effects you want to select color overlay make sure your color is set to a full black color using the color picker if it isn't set to black already make sure you change it and then the blend mode to the left of the color you want to select as overlay and as you can see this looks a little too dark so i'm going to decrease the opacity to 20 percent 
if you want it to look any darker then you make sure to increase that but in my opinion 20% is the best median for this effect so guys after you have done that you want to select gradient overlay you want to go straight to the gradient option and that will open up the gradient editor page and now what you want to do is make sure you have a full white color going to a full black color and now using your mouse just click on the white color here on the left hand side and drag this so it hits the middle of the slider here so it will make the location around about 50% here so I'm just going to move it around about there make sure it looks something similar to this it really doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same but make sure your white is slided to 50% press ok once you have done that and now you want to change the blend mode at the top to multiply as you can see this creates a really nice darker effect over at the top after you have done this you want to decrease the opacity of it to 30 percent just like i've done right now you can leave all the other settings the same you don't want to reverse it and also the angle you can keep at 90 degrees we don't need to change that and as you can see you are pretty much done so now what i'd do is i'd go to new style and then go ahead and save this style so i'm going to press ok and that will appear on the bottom of your styles page so if you ever need to get this text effect again you can go ahead double click on your text go to styles and it will be there at the bottom but as you can see like i said at the start this works with pretty much any texture you want it looks really nice and really clean a couple things that i would do to make this look better is add a brightness and contrast maybe decrease the contrast a little as you can see here this makes it look really nice or you can just add a cc from a color corrections pack it really doesn't matter just make this look a little better because obviously the lighting isn't going to be too good but in my opinion this does look really nice you can use this effect for any headers banners it really doesn't matter as long as you have a texture there it will work and it will look really good also guys if you did make it this far into the video comment down below hashtag sloth and i will see that you made it this far anyways guys that is it for the video like i said if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like because i really would appreciate it like i said we're getting closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers by the day so if you could even just get one of your friends to subscribe i would really appreciate it because that would be my best christmas present if i could get 10,000 subscribers before christmas anyways guys like i said hopefully you enjoyed this has been visual or james and i'm out peace